Hey everybody, in this episode I'm going to show you how to use the uh, circular pattern. Now you could totally pull this off by doing a circle and extruding and another circle and extruding and more circles and extruding, but there's a far easier way as you can just see right there. So first things first, we're going to hit the new design. We're going to come in here over in document settings and we're going to change this right here to inches go ahead and hit okay we're going to start a new sketch click here i'm going to start on this blue line right here and then i'm going to take a line or click l on your keyboard and i'm not going to start directly on the origin because we're going to have a line right there uh, and if you want to draw that you can um, and so what we're going to do is I'm going to come up a little bit here to, to right here. I'm going to go up and make like a backwards uh, L. Uh, I'm not really paying attention to dimensions, but I am paying attention to having perpendicular right angles all right there. And now I'm going to hit D for dimension or click right here. And I'm going to click on the origin and this distance right here. So I want to make that 0.375. Another way to do that is I'm going to hit the origin and this top one right here and I'm going to make that one and I'm going to hit the origin and up here and I'm going to make this 2.5. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say that this width right here is 0.5 and then this total width down here is one. So we've got like a small backwards L. Uh, go ahead and finish your sketch. And this is where if you hit the revolve tool and you click on this as your like profile and you want to select your axis and my axis is going to be this blue line. You can see it just rotates around and voila, I've got that all made. So uh, this is where the circular pattern comes into play. I'm going to click on this top part here right click and hit uh, create a sketch and I want to grab a circle and I don't want to make it here I want to go straight up from the middle and I want to make a small circle there again not really paying attention to dimensions until right now where I click D for dimension we always want a dimension for location and for size so um, I want this location from the center of my circle up here to be like 1.65. Then I will measure for uh, size and I'll make that 0.5 inches. Um, some people feel like you should dimension location first and then do uh, size. Um, I'm a big fan of that because sometimes when you do the size location first, your uh, shape just kind of jumps all over the place. So I'm a big fan of measuring uh, for location first. Okay, go ahead and hit finish sketch and extrude this. We want to go the opposite direction. So we want to cut, which it just kind of did there. And I could pull it all the way through, that would work. Or I can just go here and go to type and go through all. Okay. Now we want to do a pattern. So I clicked on this and it's a rectangular pattern. I want to go down here to pattern. I want to go to circular pattern. So I want to click first. I don't want to click on the face. I want to change this to a feature, which is what we just made. I'm going to click on this feature. And I'm going to click on the axis. You can actually click on literally the axis right here, or you can click on any of the circles that you've just made. Um, you can see uh, we can change this to four and before I hit okay, you can kind of see what it looks like. So this is what eight looks like. I'm gonna wanna add 10 of these um, and then you can, you can change the angle, you can get all in here. We're gonna actually have it go through um, all 360 degrees, hit okay or, or a full circle. So we've got that and they're all even. So that makes it all nice. And then I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna cut a little keyhole out of here. So I'm going to hit uh, create a new sketch right on there. I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to grab my two point um, 
rectangle and it actually it's really nice with this grid here so I draw a rectangle I want to size it up and actually I want that to be 0.5 and I want this to be 0.2 which is always helpful it just kind of locks it there in place finish the sketch extrude I want to click on this right here Again, I want to operate that, cut it away. Um, I want it to go that direction, and I want it to go through all. So change that to all, change that, hit there. Look at this, now I hit front. You can see it goes all the way through. We've got like a little rotor. And then the final part we wanna do is file, save, call this, circular pattern throw your initials on the back end of it make sure it's in your like practice folder or wherever your teachers want to keep it and you're all done make sure you show your teacher if you have any questions feel free to add them in the comments below thanks for watching